Get your shopping list ready because I have the best products of every brand at Sephora. This is not sponsored in any way. I am taking my experience as a product developer in the beauty space for over 15 years and lining up what I believe are the best formulations of every single makeup brand that is sold at Sephora. Grab a drink and get cozy. We're going to dive right into a lot of products. First, let's start with the A's. The first brand I have is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, it's going to be the brow pencil. It is a great brow pencil. However, it's not what I would pick as the top one from the brand. I actually really like the Cosmos palette. I don't know why this isn't getting more attention than it is, but it's a beautiful formulation. The colors inside, there's some great shimmers. There's some mattes. They blend really well. I love the color story. I like this. There's a couple dual chromes in there, which you don't see from a lot of mainstream brands. The price point is $55 for this. So is it a little bit higher than some other palettes? And the fact that you get 12 pans in here says a lot. And I'm pretty sure I know the manufacturer that made these and it's an amazing lab. So I really do like this palette. If I had to pick one thing for the band that is exists today would be this. Side note though, if they still sold this highlighter that Amrizi did as a collaboration with them, this would be my top one. It was the best highlighter of all time, but because it's not being sold right now, I chose the Cosmos palette instead. Next A brand we have is Armani Beauty. Now this was hard to pick you all because Armani does a lot of beautiful things, but I really love their Luminous Silk Foundation. It is such a gorgeous satin finish foundation with medium to full coverage. It blends into the skin really beautifully. It comes in a lot of different colors. Armani does skin really really well but this foundation is a cult favorite for a good reason because it just looks great on every skin tone any age it doesn't settle into fine lines it doesn't oxidize it's just a fabulous satin finish foundation next brand we have is bare minerals that's a flashback to the 90s you all but bare minerals was hard to pick something because i don't wear a lot from this brand i, I know that sounds awful you guys but I did actually like their highlighting blush. It's this one right here. I got it at Sephora, but look how gorgeous of a shimmer this is. I picked this as a top product because it's a very smooth formula. It blends into the skin really well. Looks great on the cheekbones. If you want kind of a blush slash highlighter in one, apply it to the chops of the cheeks because a very gorgeous glow. It's not overly glittery or shimmery. It just gives a nice sheen to the cheeks that blends really easily. Next brand we have is Benefit Cosmetics. And I had a hard time choosing here as well because I love their bronzers. I love their brow products, incredible. But I ended up choosing their blushes. I say this because it's hard for me to find blushes on the market that have the perfect amount of pigmentation. Either they're really, really saturated in color and they look make me look like a clown or they're not pigmented enough and I can't get them to show up on my skin or they're chalky or they're too glittery. Like finding a perfect blush is actually a challenge for me and I really love the Benefit formula. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and I feel like it gives such a natural flush glow to the cheeks Just the right amount of pigmentation. It's very smooth. It's easy to blend great formula These are $32 and I love how cute the packaging is. It's very unique to benefit Next brand we have in the B category is Bobbi Brown and this was really hard to narrow down you guys because I love so many products I I will show you what it came down to It was hard choosing between the bronzers and the cream eyeshadow sticks I'm going with the cream eyeshadow sticks because it's such a creamy formula and the only other brand that has anything comparable to this is Laura Mercier but I like the Bobbi Brown ones the best because I feel like they glide really well they're very creamy just a very versatile product I bought several colors I'm actually wearing it today along the lash line it's great for on the go it's very convenient I just feel like the formula is absolutely beautiful next brand we have is K Skin I know this isn't technically a makeup brand but I use this as a makeup product and it's such a holy grail for me I have to put it in this video it is their nourishing lip mask one of my favorite girls at my local Sephora recommended this to me and I cannot stop using it. I have two, of one up here, one downstairs. It is the most hydrating lip mask. To me personally, I'm getting a lot of crap for saying this. It's better than the Laneige ones. I said it, I said it. It actually hydrates the lips, keeps them very soft and dewy and fresh. It's just such a great lip balm. So I love that from K-Skin. Next brand we have is Charlotte Tilbury. You guys won't be surprised by this. I've had a lot of polarizing thoughts on this product, but I love the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now, even though I said, do I think it's worth this price? I don't, but is it a fantastic product? It actually is. And it was innovative at the time. She was the first one that came out with a liquid highlighter like this that looked beautiful on the skin. I love this product because it gives a nice glow to the cheeks. It's very natural. It gives a nice highlight. It's not super shimmery. It just looks like a very natural dewy sheen. Do you see the glow on that? So gorgeous. Comes in a lot of different colors. So everyone I feel like can find one that works for them. I wear the shade number three and it just looks gorgeous on top of the cheekbones to give me that subtle glow. Next brand we have is Clinique. And I know a lot of people have differing opinions about this brand. For me, 
holy grail status is the eye makeup remover the purple one get the purple bottle you guys don't try any of the others this is the best one i have bought in my time doing makeup probably 20 bottles of this no joke you all it is the only eye makeup remover i have takes off my makeup in one swipe it doesn't feel overly greasy it's very gentle on the eyes it doesn't tug and it when i tell you it takes off like liquid lipsticks in one swipe it's incredible it's the best formula i've used i'll continue using this till the day i die next brand we have we're going into the d's is Danessa Myricks. Now, this was hard to choose too because I do like several products of her, but her color fixes are holy grail status as well. And they are so innovative and unique. I love using these as a base under my eyeshadows. They blend really well. They're incredibly pigmented and they come in so many different colors. I have an entire drawer here. Let me show you guys. I have an entire drawer full of them in every color possible. What you have some time to blend it out and once it sets, that is it. It will last for hours and hours and hours. If I have a long day of shooting or working out in public, I mean, this will last me like 18 hours. It will not budge. So if you need a nice colorful base under your powder shadows, these are insanely pigmented and incredibly long wearing. Next brand we have is Dior. You all, this was really hard to narrow down because I love Dior's face products. I love their lips. They have a lot of great stuff, but I ended up going up with their foundations, especially the Capture Total one. I have not found a foundation on the market that gives me the type of glow and natural sheen to the skin that this one does. I can put any amount of powder on top of this, you all, and it still will give me the most natural sheen to the skin has great pigmentation. It's very natural looking. I can wear it for every day. I can wear it for full glam. It's very versatile. It is a pricey formula. I'm not even gonna sit here and BS you guys. It is extremely expensive, but in my opinion, like for me, if I'm gonna splurge and buy one luxury foundation, it's going to be this one because it just looks absolutely gorgeous on Like look how smooth out my hair looks. Look at that. That was with one drop, just blending it really quickly with my fingers. It doesn't settle in the fine lines. It doesn't oxidize. Looks absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I will say, I wish they had a better color section but I think it is a new formula for them so I'm hoping they expand the line over time. Next brand we have is Estee Lauder. This one's not gonna surprise you all. It is the double wear foundation. This is holy grail status for a reason. I have been using this foundation for over 15 years. Since I first started on YouTube I've been talking about this foundation. It's a gorgeous matte formula so if you want a great matte formula that is medium to full coverage finish. This is well loved because it doesn't look thick or cakey. It doesn't settle into any fine lines. It gives a subtle, natural, demi-matte finish. It's not super flat. Still looks a little bit like skin. Very easy to blend. Doesn't oxidize. Doesn't smell weird. It's just a incredible formula. It's been around forever and I think this is going to be a staple for them for years to come because everyone keeps coming back to buy this foundation. Next brand we have is Fenty Beauty. This one won't surprise you guys if you've been on my channel and you know I love these so much. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Now you're gonna joke and I have more downstairs. Look how many colors I have. I have one in multiple colors so in case I spray tan or it's winter or summer I've got my colors covered. So I use this every single time. Time I apply makeup every time. I use it to set makeup under my eyes. It adds a nice coverage on the skin. It doesn't look cakey. It's not drying. It works for my dry skin. It works for my over 40 skin. It comes in a ton of different colors. It's an incredibly soft formula. It blends really beautifully. It's just an all around amazing powder foundation. You can wear this on its own if you have oily skin. You can apply it on top of liquid foundation if you want to use it to set your makeup. It's just so versatile and incredible formula. And I love the packaging on this. You have the sponge underneath. It's just very sleek and innovative. And side note on that, my vendors I work with also work with Rihanna and they say that she actually comes to meetings to work on packaging herself. That tells you how devoted she is to her brand. She's not just sending people to go work on her stuff for her. She's actually in the meetings working with vendors herself. So I have mad respect for her. Next brand we have is Givenchy. Now this will not surprise you guys. It's a cult favorite. It's all over TikTok and YouTube everywhere. Their Prism Loose Powder is holy grail status. It is a beautiful formula. I have the the color 2 Satin Blanc. It's well loved because it's such a finely milled formula. It's triple milled and I, it has just the slightest sheen to it. I believe it has mica in it. I didn't check the ingredient deck, but it works really well because it doesn't set all the fine lines. It gives you a blurring effect to the skin. It's very soft, very natural looking, easy to apply. It's an incredible product. I will keep using this for many, many years to come. Next brand we have is Glossier and I'm going to step outside of the makeup bucket just for a quick second because I'm going to get so much hate for this one. 
all the Glossier groupies are going to come outside my house with some torches. I do not like a lot of their formulations and makeup. So I chose for this specific brand, their fragrance that they sell you. It is such a gorgeous, soft, elegant, clean musk that I layer with a lot of different fragrances. I reach for it all the time. I think it's a great fragrance. The price point is amazing. The bottle is different and unique. I think that's the best product that they sell. I was going to try to give the cloud paints a try because I know everyone loves them and they're top seller, you guys. I just don't enjoy them. They didn't blend easily for me. I just was not a fan. So if I had to pick one thing from this category, it's going to be the fragrance you. Next brand we have is Gucci and Gucci is new to Sephora. So I don't have the physical product with me. I've tested it multiple times. I tried to get it today. They didn't have my color. It is their blushes. It is their luminous matte blush. You all, it is such a beautiful, soft matte formula. Perfect amount of pigmentation. The packaging is gorgeous. Very luxurious feeling. It blends really well. I love how it feels. It feels very soft. It's not too flat, but actually looks like skin, even though it's a matte formula. I think it's a beautiful blush. Out of everything I've tried from Gucci, and there's been several things that I liked, the blushes were the one that I consistently go back to. If my Sephora would have my colors in stock, I would go buy several of them, but that is my favorite formula. I've tried from the brand. Next brand we have is another luxury one, and it's Guerlain. And Guerlain has amazing lipsticks, you all. My favorite formula is their Shine Blue ones. I have one right here, and this is their classic red color. It's a lip balm with just the perfect amount of pigmentation. So if you love a formula that's very hydrating, kind of a shine to it, it feels very comfortable on the lips. The packaging to me is very sleek, very luxurious. I think it's different. I love every single lip product I've tried from Guerlain, but this one by far is my favorite because it's just easy to wear for every day. Next brand we have is House Labs. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, she's gonna put the foundation in there. I do have it, I do enjoy it. It was in one of my top foundation videos. However, if I had to pick one thing from this brand, that I truly love and I think is special, it is their blushes. Now these are very pigmented, so if you like something that has full impact, giving you a lot of saturation and color, these are it. I chose this as my number one product from this brand because it's a talc-free formula. It is incredibly smooth, it blends really well. I love their color selection. They only have five or six colors, but they were very thoughtful in the colors they chose to make sure that everyone was included, fair all the way up to deep skin. I love how much of the blush you get. I love the packaging. I just, I think it's such a beautiful, unique formula. I love that they have skincare properties in there, such as I think it was squalane, another ingredient, but it's meant to be kind of a hybrid between skincare and color cosmetics, which I appreciate. And I love that it's a talc-free formula. Next brand we have is Hourglass. Now this one was hard for me to choose, you guys. All the Hourglass hands are gonna hate me. It's not because I love so many products from it. I was like, I had a hard time finding things that I actually like. So I chose the one product that I do have in my collection that I do reach for sometimes. It's their Ambient Lighting Blush. Now I do think this is a beautiful formula. It is a baked blush that is very soft, has the lightest soft sheen to it. So it looks very natural on the skin. But my my only issue with this brand is they don't have a great color selection. I feel like deep skin is completely ignored in their line of colors. It's really upsetting to think in 2024 that they have a whole lineup of these beautiful blushes and most of them would not even work for only half of the population. So that's my big gripe with the brand. I do think these blushes are beautiful. I think they're amazing, but they definitely need to step up their game in the color selection that they offer. Next brand we have is Huda Beauty. And this was hard for me to choose too because I love so many products from the brand, but you guys know I absolutely love their eyeshadow shadow palettes. And this one I have continued to use over and over and over again. It's their Rose Quartz one. I was debating on between that one or the Empowered palette, but I chose this one because I love that there is some special formulas in here. There's a cream, there's a dual chrome, there's some mattes, there's some metallic. Look how gorgeous that is. This color alone, you all blissful. This guy right here, do you see how dented it is? You can tell how much I've worn that one. Buy the palette alone just for that color. Like, look at that. Look how gorgeous that is and it shifts and shines, but somehow it's still a wearable everyday color. I cannot stop wearing this palette. I love it so much. I probably will buy a backup just in case they stop selling this, but I love Huda's eyeshadow palettes in this size. I don't like the small square ones. Those that are made at a completely different factory because I feel like the formula in these are superior to the mini palettes that she sells. Next brand we have is It Cosmetics and they are known for having beautiful skin. Foundations, concealers, their brushes are really great as well. But I chose their CC Plus Cream because it is such a pigmented, 
beautiful CC cream that applies like a foundation. It is a matte formula, but I don't mind this one because I feel like it blends into the skin really well. It sits on top of the skin. It doesn't settle into my fine lines, even though I have dry skin. It doesn't stick to my dry patches. And I love the packaging on this. And I like that it has SPF 50. So if you're looking for something for every day on the go, you want to just rub it in with your hands really quickly, get your skin covered with some great SPF and some amazing pigmented coverage. This is the one that I would reach for for every day. Next brand we have is Kosas. And I have a lot of thoughts about the brand. I've seen a lot going on with their concealers and foundations, things like breaking down, getting moldy really quickly. So I stay away from the brand for the most part. Again, I'm not trying to be negative. Well, I'm just keeping it real on here. But the one thing that I do like from them is their Dream Beam sunscreen. It's a tinted sunscreen. I've had this for a little while. I keep smelling it and I'm like, Okay, is it going bad yet? Nope, I think it's still good. I haven't had issues with this one going rancid. I will say stay away from their concealers. I know a lot of people like the formula, but I've seen way too many issues with the preservatives and that not working. I'm not putting that anywhere near my face, but the sunscreen, I will. And I feel like this gives me great coverage. I love that it looks natural on the skin. I love that it has some pigmentation so it doesn't look white or ashy. And it just blends into the skin really beautiful, feels very nice. It doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. It's my favorite sunscreen that I've used in a really long time. Next for we have is KVD Beauty and this I don't have the physical one because I had it years ago I tossed it because it expired but I did test it again in store and it is their shade and light contour palette now I don't contour really with contour powders as much anymore so that's why I didn't get it again but I do think it's a beautiful palette I love that they have multiple colors in there I love how smooth the formula is it blends really well it has been around for a long time for good reason because it just works really well and blends so nicely so I don't buy a lot from this brand just because it a lot of their products don't work for me specifically, but I do appreciate many of their formulas. And if I had to pick one, it would definitely be the Shade and Light Palette. Next brand we have is Lancome. And this was hard to choose too because I love several things from the brand, but this one for me is a standout. If you watched my concealer video a few weeks back, you will know, but I love their Tante Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. It is the best concealer hands down I've worn in a really, really long time. It gives amazing coverage to the skin. It glides really well. I use this under my eyes and actually all over my face. I wear this on days when I'm not putting foundation on, but I want some coverage for my dark circles, my acne spots. I put this on and it just blends like a dream, looks natural, it lasts all day. I feel like it doesn't wear down. It's just an amazing concealer. It comes in a lot of great colors too. So if I had to pick one thing, I would say hands down their concealer, incredible formula. Next brand we have is Laura Mercier. This was hard to choose too because I love so many products. I love their tinted moisturizer, their cream shadows, sticks, but I ended up choosing their loose powder, but the Celestial Light one, the newest formula, you guys, that has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. You all, let me show you. I have to try this on for you so you can see. So this one, I have Celestial Light and Laura Mercier is known for having the smoothest, finely milled, very soft, natural looking loose powders. So, but this newest formula, you all, it gives such a subtle sheen to the skin. Look at that. It's just very lightly shimmery. It's not glittery. It's just very soft and natural looking. So if you want a slight sheen to the skin, you want a beautiful setting powder that's just gonna look very natural. I freaking love this powder so much. And I haven't seen any formulas quite like this one where it has a very slight sheen, but it's not glittery. It's Perfect. Next brand we have is Lawless. And this was hard to choose too because I love their pressed powders. I love their lip liners, but I also love their lipsticks. So their Forget the Filler Cream lipsticks are so smooth. They are such a creamy matte. This is the color Daisy Girl. And I have several colors in my collection and I always reach for them. They have the perfect texture, very creamy, doesn't settle in my fine lines, beautiful range of nudes that were for all skin tones. They had a very deep one to work for deep skin. They had a light nude for fair skin. I love their color selection. I love the formula. It's very hydrating. It's comfortable on the lips. I just, I, it's just a great go-to lipstick. There's nothing super, super fancy about it. Although I do love the Magnetic packaging. That's a nice touch, but I just think it's a great formula and amazing color selection of nudes. Next brand we have is an OG brand that's been around forever and it's makeup forever. This was hard to choose too because I love their foundations. They have some great brushes. There's so many amazing things from this brand. I think it's underrated. It's just starting to get back in the public eye again, which is amazing. I'm so excited. I went to school with them years ago in Paris and it was a great experience, but if I had to choose one thing, 
it would be their lip liners. Everyone knows this. You all, like, I don't know if you can see, it's windling down. Pretty soon it's gonna be like this because I wear this all the time. Their Artist Color pencils are incredible, especially for the lips. For the eyes, I feel like they're a little bit too dry, but for lips, perfect. The color, Wherever Walnut. If you get one lip liner pencil on the planet, you need to get Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut color. It is, it's what I'm wearing today. I wear it almost every single day. It is the perfect, here, let me swatch it on my hand. The perfect pinky nude brown color. Looks great on deep skin, works great on fair skin. It's a perfect nude, but not brown or ashy looking. It has a hint of pink to it, so it matches your actual natural lip color. If you need a natural lip lighter that goes with so many different colors of lipsticks and lip glosses, I'm telling you wherever walnut, chef's kiss. Next brand we have is Makeup by Mario. This was hard to choose too because I love so many items from the brand. I adore Mario. I, I met him many years ago. He's an absolute sweetheart, genuine person. His bronzers, holy grail status. Holy grail. If I could recommend any bronzer on the palette that I absolutely love, it is this one. It's the the Soft Sculpt Bronzer. I know he has one that's kind of the creamy one. It's um, the Transforming Skin Enhancer. I don't like this one as much as I do the powder one. I wear it almost every single day. I don't know if you guys can see the dent in that, and this is my second one that I've gotten. It just gives such a natural finish to the skin. Perfect amount of pigmentation. It's not so much to where you, you're getting like this orange blotchiness on the skin. It's just enough to blend really easily. The formula is very smooth. The colors are on point. They're not too orange. They're not too gray. They're not, it's a matte formula, but has a very slight sheen. So it looks like skin. He did an incredible job on this bronzer. Hands down, favorite formula bronzer I've used in years. Next brand we have is Merit Beauty. This is fairly new to the market, I believe. This was hard to choose too, because I love so many products from Merit Beauty. If I had to pick one brand this year that has really stood out to me, and I've loved so many of their formulas, it is this brand. I love their eyeshadow pots. I love their bronzing balm. I love their foundation stick. Oh my gosh, their foundation stick so good. But their winner to me is their blush bombs. I love the packaging on it. I think it's super cute. I love the formula of these. It's not too pigmented. It's just enough to look natural for every day. But if you want to enhance it and add more, you just add a second layer. So it's very versatile. My favorite color is Cheeky. And I just put this on top so the cheek bomb you can put it on top of blush, you can wear it on its own, you can wear it on a naked face or a foundation full of, or a face full of foundation and full glam. It's just so versatile. Looks like skin, natural dewiness, perfect amount of pigmentation, very cute packaging, hands down, best blush I've used in a really long time. Next brand we have is Milk Makeup. Now, a lot of people are not gonna agree with me on this and that's okay. I don't find a lot of their products work for me personally, but I am a 44 year old lady with dry skin. So I'm probably not gonna be using some of these products from just a branding standpoint anyways. However, their mattifying primer is really, really good. I have it you guys, and I don't know where it went. I think it's in a bag somewhere. I swear I do have it. It works amazing. This is what I use on the days where I feel a little oily during the summer. I will put this mattifying primer on the center of my face. It keeps my makeup from breaking down helps it to last all day. It really is an incredible primer. So even though I personally don't enjoy a lot of the products from the brand, I do think that primer is pretty good. Next brand we have is NARS. You guys are not gonna be surprised by this. I, if you were watching any of my videos on my channel, you know I'm gonna put this in here. It is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Holy status, I will show you. I have multiple colors, you guys. There's two or three more bottles downstairs. I swear at any given moment, I have five or six bottles in varying colors and, and duplicates because I'm terrified that they're gonna discontinue this foundation. It is the most beautiful, dewy finish foundation with a medium to full coverage. It's really hard to find dewy foundations that have full coverage. So if people like me, if I wanna wear full glam and I need a lot of coverage for my dark circles, my breakouts, age spots, and things like that, I need something full coverage, but I still want it to look dewy and glowy and like natural skin. I don't want little foo-foo coverage. I don't want this sheer glow stuff. No, 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 no. I want full coverage with a glow. And so that's why I like this formula so much. I'm wearing it today, I wear it every day, pretty much. I'm wearing it today, I wear it all the time. Every time I film, this is the foundation I wear because it's just great for full glam. I do love that they have a ton of different colors. Like if there's any brand I could say does skin extremely well, it would be NARS. Their concealers, their foundations, I know every time they launch a new foundation, it's gonna be amazing because they just do foundations impeccably well. Next brand we have is Natasha Denona. This was a little hard too because I really do love their eyeshadow palettes. However, this concealer, 
you guys watched my top 10 concealer video, I'll link to it below. You know this was on the list. This is actually my number one concealer because it glides extremely well, has medium to full pigmentation, so it covers my dark circles, blends it in the skin. It just feels like silk. There is something magical about this formula where it's very, it glides really well. It doesn't get cakey, it doesn't get thick for me. It just blends beautifully. And they have so many colors to choose from in varying undertones. So I think the color selection is incredible. I love that concealer. I use this one. I wear this one almost every day as well. I kind of rotate between this and the long comb one. The long comb one I'll wear when I'm not wearing a full face of makeup. But anytime I'm doing full glam and I just want something to kind of brighten the eyes and glide over my foundation, I pull out this one. Next brand we have is One Size Beauty. Hi, Patrick. I've known Patrick a long time. He's an absolute gem. Um, he's a sweetheart. I'm so proud of him for all of his growth. But his blurring setting powder, oh my gosh, so good. I get torn between the Laurie Mercier and this one. I kind of rotate back and forth, but I've been reaching for this one so much more. And I wear this all the time now. This formula is triple milled. It is such a smooth, comfortable formula. It's very lightweight, blurs the skin. So they actually named it perfectly blurring setting powder because it blurs on top of the pores. I usually like to apply it with my sponge. I get on Amazon, I pick up a little bit. And if I'm getting oily throughout the day, I don't know if you guys can see my foundation here on my forehead. It just blurs it out. It literally looks like I put a filter on my face. A lot of you guys are like, stop using a filter. I'm like, it's not. It's actually the makeup and bomb lighting. I'm not using a filter. But this looks really, really good. So I love this loose powder. I love that he has a variety of colors. There's like that honey color. There's the new pink color. I get the translucent one. That's my favorite because it's so versatile, but incredible setting powder. Next brand we have is Pat McGrath. And this was kind of hard to choose too because I do like several products from the brand. But you guys know I'm going to pick one of those Mothership palettes. It is a beautiful palette. Now, I do have thoughts about the price point. I think it is priced a little bit high, but do I think it is an absolutely stunning, gorgeous, high quality palette? Yes, I do. If I had to pick one, I would get number 10. 10 is so special, you all. Look at this color story. Look at this. For me, this is my favorite color story because I feel like it has some beautiful neutrals in here. It has some pink. It has some rosy shades. It has a warm, but this duochrome shade right here, I would buy it just for this shade. Like, look at this. Wait, wait, I gotta swatch on the back of hand so you guys can see how special this is. Look at that. You see it shifting from red to this silver to a brown. Look how gorgeous this is. Like, are you kidding me? So, so good. So honestly, you guys, I, I, like, I know I say it's an expensive palette, but if you are wanting to splurge on yourself and buy one very special makeup product, I would say hands down, the Pat McGrath of Mothership number 10 would be one that I would gift to a friend, something very special that I would wear, I would enjoy, would get a lot of use out of. It would be this palette. Next brand we have is Patrick Tom. This is not going to be a surprise to anyone, but I love his blushes. I just think they're great. I think the concept of having the powder and the cream together is genius. I love the formulas, how it is just the right amount of pigmentation. It's not too much to where it's hard to blend. And I do love that there is the cream on top. It's just everything about this is perfection. There's nothing I could say that would improve this at all. I think he did a fantastic job. I love how wide of a color selection that he has. If I had to pick just one thing, hands down, that would last till the end of time that's great from this brand, it would definitely be his blushes. Next brand we have is Rare Beauty. And I know you guys are like, oh, it's the liquid blush. Do I think the liquid blush is unique? Yes, because it was one of the first liquid blushes that came onto the market. However, I don't personally enjoy them because I feel that they are way too pigmented. If they had backed down on the pigmentation a little bit to make it more user-friendly and easier to blend, I definitely would have put that in this category. But I personally enjoy the bronzing stick so much more. It is such a creamy formula, blends into the skin really well. It glides into the skin. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It's just a beautiful formula that once it sets, it kind of goes to a matte finish. So it's almost like a cream to powder type formula, which is very unique to have in a stick format because usually it's in a compact. So the little formula developer in me is like, oh, this is a cool formula. So I, I really do enjoy this bronzing stick and I use it all the time. Next brand we have is the Sephora brand. They have a ton of different products. I really do like their baked setting powder. I think that is great. But you guys know if you've been with me for a long time, you know that I wear these all the time. They're liquid lips. Incredible. For me, it is the perfect liquid lip formula. And I'm not a big liquid lipstick person at all. But if I'm going to wear one, it's going to be this far ones. Like, look at all the colors I have. There's more in the store here, you guys. If you get one color out of this collection, get the red. 
Look, I love it so much. I have backups of it. It's the color number one, their classic red. It is the longest wearing, comfortable, doesn't settle my fine lines, red liquid lipstick that I've ever worn. I've tried a lot of different brands and I always come back to this one just because it's the only liquid lip that I feel like doesn't shrivel up my lips and make me look like a cactus on a hot day. Next brand we have is Smashbox and I don't have this in person. I couldn't get my hands on it because I didn't have it at my local store and I haven't worn it in a while. The Becca Pressed Highlighter is hands down. It is one of the most gorgeous highlighters out there. I am so glad that Smashbox bought it. I know this isn't a custom to Smashbox. It's technically a Becca one, but if I had to pick one thing for Smashbox right now that I would wear, it would be that highlighter because it gives you such a natural glow, beautiful sheen to the cheeks. It's very comfortable. It's easy to blend. Love that formula so much. I hope they keep it for a long time because it is a OG highlighter that should last forever. If you love League of Education and you want to join me in a more intimate setting, you can find me at makeupgeekacademy.com where I teach live classes every month. We have giveaways, exclusive coupons, a forum, inspirational looks of the week, tutorials, bonus content, a lot of great stuff in there and it's only $9 a month. You guys still here with me? I told you to get a snack and a drink. This is going to be long but I got a lot of brands to go through. Okay. Next brand we have is Stila Cosmetics. What is going on with this brand? I feel like it got bought out and they just left it to die on the roadside. I don't know what's happening with Stila. They used to have such cool innovative formulas launching stuff all the time and then just several years ago it just wah, wah. but if i had to pick one thing from the remaining stock on the sephora site it would be their liquid eyeshadows i do think they're really beautiful mine has dried out because i've had it for a little bit color is beautiful the one i have is sunset cave i don't even know if they sell this anymore but i was like Stila, come back, come back, what's happened to you? These used to be the thing many years ago on YouTube. Do you guys remember that? So I, I just, I wish I had a new formula I could recommend from this brand, but I feel like they just aren't launching anything. But if I had to go back and pick one, it would be these liquid shadows. Next brand we have is Tarte. And I have always loved Tarte's eyeshadow palettes. I think they're just great staples. Is it like mind blowing formula or colors? No, but if you need a great staple neutral palette, they're Tartelette in Bloom palette is hands down a cult favorite it's been around for many years and for it to still be on the sephora site says something for it to last that long and not be booted off the site so if i had to choose one it would be that one it has a lot of great matte neutrals in there that just work great for everyone it's just a good staple palette to have for your transition colors for darkening the lash line you can mix it with other palettes if you want. It's a great staple palette. Next brand we have is Tom Ford. And I like a few formulas from Tom Ford, but the one I keep reaching back to is their Shade and Illuminate Highlighting Duo. Such a great formula of a beautiful bronzer, you all. Do you see? Do you see the sheen on the skin? It gives you a beautiful glow, looks natural on the skin, looks amazing on its own, or if you put foundation on top, it is just an incredible formula. Now, do I think it's worth $90? I don't. I think it's overpriced, but it is a luxury brand, and I do feel like it's a beautiful product, and I do love the packaging of it. It's just very sleek and luxurious. Next brand we have is Too Faced. Now, I have thoughts about the brand. Do I go into it in this video or not? I'm going to refrain. I'm going to I'm going to speak on why I don't buy from this brand um, anymore, but I did buy this for this video, so... <laughs> I did invest in this bronzer for this video because I wanted to show you guys that this is actually a good bronzer. If I had to pick one thing for the brand, it would be their Soleil bronzers because it's a beautiful formula that's a matte finish. It's not too orange. It blends with the skin really nice. It has been around for many years for a reason because it just is a nice neutral tone bronzer, not too gray, not too orange. It's a matte finish, but it blends really well. I just don't connect with the brand as a whole because I feel like it's very juvenile for me. And as I've gotten older, I've kind of moved away from like the really crazy packaging and the tacky theme. I've just gotten away from the crazy themes and like the cutesy packaging and things like that. Just personal opinion, you guys. My reason for not buying from the brand though is another reason that I will go into it in another day. But if I had to pick one thing from Too Faced, it would be the Soleil bronzers. Next brand we have is Power 28. This will not be a surprise to anyone who's been on my channel. Their cream blushes, amazing formula. It is the most creamy, dewy, pigmented cream blush on the market. I feel like it's such a beautiful formula in that it gives a nice dewiness to the cheek. It's not greasy looking, but it's also not dry and matte. Some cream blushes I get are really thick and patchy. 
This is not. It blends really well into the skin. You could wear it on bare skin just for natural days or on top of a full face of makeup and it blends just as well. It's a great formula. I have just a couple shades of these, but I'm definitely going to go back and try to get every color because I love the formula that much. Next brand we have is Urban Decay. And this one makes me just a little bit sad because do you guys remember when Urban Decay used to be the brand? It was so edgy, kind of grungy, kind of hip. I used to wait and save up to get all of their eyeshadow palettes because they had such cool color stories, cool packaging. And then I don't know what happened when they got sold out. They just, it's like another Stila situation. They just left it on the side of the road and let it die. And all the launches they've had lately has been wah, wah, like Urban Decay, come back, we miss you. So if I had to pick one formula from the brand, it was hard because I would love to say the original Naked palette, but it's not, it doesn't exist anymore. And all the re-releases of the eyeshadow palettes, are they decent? They're pretty good, but they aren't standout amazing that I would say it's their number one product. So I'm going to say it's their 24-7 eyeliner pencils. Even though it's not a novelty item, it's an eyeliner pencil, they still are amazing. They're very creamy. They blend really well. They come in a ton of different colors. Many colors you cannot find in any other brand other than Urban Decay. So if I had to pick one thing that really stands out, it's not that it's just an eyeliner pencil. It's the fact that they have so many cool colors that you can't find in any other brand. Next brand we have is Valentino. And this one was hard too because I love their liquid liner. I use it every single day, but I also use their blushes. This is technically their eye and cheek color. I love this formula, you guys. I actually bought this to roast it because I was like, this is a crazy price for a blush. Like, you know, the packaging is cute, but whatever. And I bought it to roast it and then I got it home and I tried it and they fell in love with this formula, you all. It is so gorgeous. It is pricey blush, I will say that. But this formula is so special. It has the smoothest, blendable texture of any blush I've ever tried. It doesn't even feel like a powder. It almost feels like a cream slash powder hybrid because of how incredibly smooth this formula is. It is the most unique texture-wise of a blush I've ever tried. So if I had to say hands down anything that's very special from this brand, it would be their blushes. I have this color number two, and I just... I know it's hard to pick up on the camera, you guys, but it's, I'm telling you, when you feel it, it feels, I hate using this word, but it does feel like butter. It's just so smooth and blends so beautifully. Next brand we have is Westman Atelier. And this was hard to choose too, because I really love a lot of formulas from the brand. I really like their pressed powder. It is pricey. It's a gorgeous formula. So I almost chose this one, but I ended up going with their bronzing stick. It's great for contouring because it's not too warm. So it's not going to give you that bronzed effect. It's going to actual contour this cheek. And the pigmentation of it is perfect. It's not too light to where you have to put a bunch of layers on. It's just enough pigmentation to where it's easy to blend. It's a smooth, comfortable formula. I love the packaging, how sleek that is. So if I had to pick one thing for the brand, even though I love everything from this brand, I would say it is their contour sticks. And then the last brand we had, we made it to the Y's, you guys. Woo! Yves Saint Laurent. This is an incredible brand. So many gorgeous, luxurious formulas in their line. But if I had to pick one thing, hands down, that I would treat myself, and get over and over again, it would be their lipstick bombs. The ones in this container right here. Gorgeous packaging, gorgeous formulas, gorgeous colors, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. My favorite color that I have here is number 123. And I consistently wear this every day. It's the perfect nude. So comfortable. It's hydrating, glides on the lips, doesn't settle into my fine lines. Very natural looking. It's just when I pull this out to use it, I feel very luxurious. I feel chic, like I need to go put some heels on and, and get a blowout for my hair and get my Chanel purse and just be a classy girl for the day. Like I just, something so special about these lipsticks. If I had to pick one thing that I would splurge, this would be another item in addition to the Pat McGrath palettes would be these lipsticks, like luxury in a little tube. We made it, you all. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with all of my choices? I know there was a lot to go through, but what would be your favorites that you would pick from some of these brands that are different from what I chose? So let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back to my channel next week. If you guys want to join me in a more intimate setting in the Makeup Geek community, you can join me over there. It's $9 a month. I do lives every month. We do giveaways. We have a great community, a forum, looks of the week, a lot of great stuff in there. So check that out. I'll link to below. Have a great one, you guys, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.